Hi everybody, it's Dre here and today I have a haul for you which is always super exciting. I know I have a ton of stuff here. This is going to be a super, super, super long video. It's been about, it's been so long since I've done a haul. I want to say at least like a month and a half. Um, so there's a lot of stuff that's accumulated. So there's Sephora, there's bunch of drugstore, there's Bath and Body Works and stuff for Mac. Um, so we're just going to get into it, but just no going in, this is going to be a long one. I'm going to start with Sephora and I'm going to start with a bunch of stuff that I have already reviewed on my channel. I'm just going to go through it quickly. Everything that I've reviewed, I'll link in the description bar below, but I have like four things here. Um, first of all, I bought the Anastasia Stick Foundation. I absolutely hated this. I did an all day wear test and I couldn't even get through the day on this one. It was so greasy. And I did try it again. I tried it yesterday, in fact, filmed this entire haul, watched the footage, and I, it was so gross. My face was so greasy. I couldn't even put up that video. So I decided to refilm this entire haul. Um, this is definitely going back. This is a love and hate according to reviews on Sephora. Some people absolutely love it, myself and others included absolutely hate it. So if you are going to try it, make sure you buy it from somewhere where you can return it if you need to. But for me, this is going back, but I thought I would let you know. Um, I also bought this. This is called No My Lips Are Sealed. This is a really weird product. It's a lipstick top coat. It's supposed to make any lipstick that is like a regular lipstick, not a liquid lipstick that's already transfer proof, but a regular lipstick doesn't really make it completely kiss proof, but it absolutely makes a huge difference. Um, I did like tests on my hand and on my lips with different kinds of lipsticks, drugstore high end, creamy matte finishes, etc. So I could see how it worked on different kinds. And this product is really cool. So if you're interested in this, go check out that video. Also, I reviewed the Ardency In Best of Eyes set. This has an eyeshadow. They're, what's it called again? The uh, Monster Big Instant Lash Enhancing Mascara, the Rock On Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner, and then the Smooth Ride Supercharged Eyeliner. All the eyeliners are amazing in this set. The mascara is really, really good. The eyeshadow came smashed, so I returned it, reordered it, and my second eyeshadow came smashed. So obviously it was not a one-off thing. I called Sephora's line, their helpline, and they said likely a whole palette was probably dropped. And um, they said, you know what? Keep the set and we're gonna refund your money. And I was like, okay, that's really nice. I didn't ask for it, but they completely just offered it. And I was like, that's fine with me because there's three other products in here that are amazing. Um, I still would recommend this set as long as you could get one of the eyeshadows that isn't broken. And if you do buy this for a gift, make sure you check it first. But yeah, everything else in this set is really, really good. And I did demo it already. And last thing that I've reviewed, this is probably two videos previous to this one. Um, I bought the Chloe Morello Ciate London Collab. This is an eyeshadow palette, a lip product, and a mascara. This is the palette. It's very, very pretty. I really, really like it. I've used it now for about three days in a row. That's what I'm wearing today on my eyes. This is a little bit more natural look, but you can definitely get some bolder looks out of this. I really like it. It's a mix of really buttery mattes, nice metallics. The metallics are a little hit and miss, um, but they work really well with Fix Plus, but with a regular brush without wetting it, they're a little chalky but the mattes are all really pigmented and amazing. So I think this is a good buy. If it's still in stock and you're interested in it, go check it out. It does come with this as well, um, the mascara, the lip product, and a really pretty makeup bag. So I do demo that and swatch that in that video. That's all the stuff that I bought just for a review for you guys. So all the rest of this is just stuff I bought because I wanted to. Um, on my Snapchat, if you're not following me already, you should be, because I'm a lot of fun. But in addition to that, Snapchat is usually where I share any deals that I find, and this included. I was alerted to this by a really great group of girls in a Facebook group that I'm a part of, and they said, somebody posted that this Buxom customizable eyeshadow palette was on Sephora's website for 20 bucks. 
that's right 20 buckaroos so of course i rushed grabbed one for me i grabbed one for you guys i picked all the colors myself this is the one i picked for myself if you want to see the giveaway one you'll just have to subscribe and keep keep an eye out because there is a giveaway coming for the holidays um but i decided to make mine with zero mats and all just their really cool metallic shades because i have other mats i can bring in and buxom does bright metallic shades really really well so that's what i did here so i'm just going to swatch these and i'll show you so you can see all the shades there they are absolutely beautiful shiny pigmented love them i'm kind of far away from the camera so i'm like trying to show you guys okay there this one is called patent leather it's kind of like a purpley lilac with a lot of glitter in it this pink one is called wild nights this is like a green duochrome one and what one this one is called twilight tryst the green one over here is gorgeous look at that it's called dusk till dawn the gold one below that is 24 karat stilettos that is a crazy gold eyeshadow beautiful the only one i'm not like in love with is the very last one here this one's called rose gold it is okay it is not exactly what i expected it's kind of kind of like brown with a yellow duochrome to it and I don't know I just thought it was going to be more like a straight up rose gold it's okay though I don't hate it but like you guys those are crazy so the $20 deal I don't know if it was like a sale if it was a mistake I don't know what it was but it was like that for a few like a good few days so if it was a mistake, they, they didn't fix it very quickly. Normally those palettes are $50 when you customize them yourself, 50 in Canada where I am. Um, and so that was an amazing, incredible deal. I don't know if that's because it was like a relaunch because this is new packaging. I don't know if I showed you already. That's what the new packaging on it looks like. It's absolutely stunning. The old one was like a snake skin, which was actually pretty nice already, but like this is absolutely stunning. I love how it looks. Buxom eyeshadows are not talked about enough, um, in my personal opinion. So I just want to like let you guys know because they are really, really good. The next thing I got was this set from Stila. This is the Naturally Nude Stale Day Liquid Lipstick Set. This is obviously for the holidays. This one is the nude one. They do have a colorful one as well. I have never tried the Stay All Day formula before, but I've heard amazing things. Um, and to be honest, the only reason I haven't tried it is because one is like $31, which is insane. But this was a set of three for 26 and I thought that was an amazing deal. I don't know what the size comparison is. I didn't take the time to research that. I'm sorry, you guys. But the packaging is super cute on this. It would make a really pretty gift to give to somebody. So the colors are Patina, Perla, and Serenata is the darkest. So Patina... Perla and Serenata. Patina is one of the permanent shades I know for sure that is in their regular line. The other two, I'm not sure if they're like only for holiday or what, but I think it's nice that they give you like one of their best selling ones in this set because a lot of the time companies will not do that. They'll hook you in with kind of some shades that are not their best selling so that you'll go out and buy the other ones. But I think it's nice that they included that. So that's gonna be a nice kind of just variety of nudes for anybody. Normally I would probably wait for something like this for a VIB Rouge sale, but this is a limited edition and I just don't know if it's going to sell out before that. This one is on my lips today. This is the Anastasia Liquid Lipstick and this is in the shade Allison. Um, so this just came on the website as a limited edition shade and I just thought it was like a really nice wearable shade for fall. So I picked that one up. And then I went into Sephora as well because I really don't have that many fall lipsticks. Um, you guys know, like I always lean towards nudes and pinks in the summer and I realized I really don't have a lot of like fall vampy shades and brown shades and I was like, okay, well, let's just go and see what is available. So I bought a bunch of stuff. I bought another one of the Vice lipsticks from Urban Decay and to be honest with you, I just don't know how I feel about this yet. I am thinking about returning it because it is a stunning shade. This brown here, it's called Disturbed. Um, for some reason I was gonna say damaged, <laughs> but it's called Disturbed. And it's, in the, it's a comfort matte. When I swatched this, I absolutely 
freaking fell in love with it. Look at that deep brownie wine shade. I love that it's like this really deep berry, but it has so much brown in it so that it doesn't lean pink. Do you know what I mean? Um, but I put this on yesterday and it just looked weird on me. Like it just looked way too dark. Um, I don't know, I wasn't getting that wine vibe. It was just more like super, super dark lip. And I just didn't like the way it looked. So I might try it one more time, but I don't know. I'm kind of like waffling because I'm kind of thinking, well, then again, you don't have anything like this. And who knows when you might need something like that or you might want something like that. So even though it was a lot on me, I might keep it. I don't know, I'm still up in the air. Next thing, I actually wore this in my butterfly Halloween tutorial. Um, which if you haven't seen that, I would really love it if you went to watch it because I am so proud of that video. Um, but anyway, this is from the Sephora House brand line and it is in the shade Magnetism. And when I swatched this in store, you guys, I was just stunned. I have never seen a lipstick that looks like this. It is the shade of a copper penny. It has so much like, I don't know, like sparkle to it, but it doesn't look like glitter. It's just so beautiful and unique. I couldn't believe I found this in Sephora's house line. And it's so opaque. It's not streaky at all. And it glides on super creamy. Oh, cannot believe it. So that's magnetism. I was just blown away by that. And then I bought this one. Um, I have to keep a little tag because Sephora, come on. Like they've stepped up so much of their game, but then on some stuff like they don't put the names of things and it's really super annoying don't they know that youtube needs to know so this is the color lip last and it is in the shade coco passion and again it's like a metallic brown this one's a little bit lighter than that one this one again has a lot of kind of sparkle to it that one there it's super creamy though. You definitely need a lip liner with this. I tried to wear this yesterday and just kind of went everywhere. So you definitely need a lip liner. These two are actually pretty similar, but anyway, they're both beautiful. Last lip product from Sephora. I wasn't gonna do it. And then I talked myself into it because you guys, when are you ever gonna find a gold lip gloss? This is from Bite Beauty. It's the cream lip gloss in the shade gold absolutely so unique and stunning i mean listen nobody's gonna go rock a gold lip gloss every day of the week monday through friday but for those times when you want something like super unique like this it's unbelievable it is this yellow bright yellow gold lip gloss just crazy like i can't wait to play with this and put it over other things it's absolutely stunning can you see how yellow gold that is oh my gosh so if this is still in stock and it's something that you think you know it's one of those unique things you might want to consider picking it up that was it for the lip products but i did pick up a few other things that caught my eye or that i also needed yes i do buy things that i actually need from sephora from time to time not just things that i want i also picked up a new nail polish from formula x i don't know that their nail polishes are worth the high price tag but sometimes every once in a while a unique shade will come along and i will cave and buy it and this one is one of those this is the collab with huda from huda beauty i don't know her last name in real life um and it's in the shade baroque babe it's this absolutely beautiful pink like holographic it's so gorgeous is it holographic is christine from simply nailogical gonna scream at me that i'm wrong i don't know i know it sparkles gold <laughs> so it's absolutely beautiful um so i kind of just that was an impulse but i can't wait to put this on my nails it'll be the next thing i put on my nails after this I also needed a new eye cream so i bought the benefit it's potent eye cream i this packaging is so adorable but anyway i got a sample of this really really liked it so it just sinks really nicely into the skin it's a fairly thick moisturizer for your under eye um which i like but it also doesn't mess with your makeup at all which i love so that's always like the number one thing to me is that it's not going to mess with my makeup while still moisturizing so really love that I also needed to repurchase the Sephora Instant Nail Polish Remover. This is just the one that has the sponge inside and you dip your finger in and it comes out with no nail polish on it. So love this. And while I was there, I saw these lashes. They're also from Sephora Collection. These are in the style Audacious 21. 
and they're very like flary. I hope I can, yeah, there you can see. Um, but they also double up in the middle. I think you can probably see that. They like layer over themselves in the middle, which I thought was super unique. So I can't wait to try these. They look very pretty. Oh, I forgot to mention, if you aren't signed up for Sephora's emails, you should because they will send you codes for like gift with purchase um, that they don't just advertise on their website. And if you're a VIB or VIB Rouge, it's definitely worth it because I got this one. It is the Clinique set and this was just like free with a $35 purchase. It comes with this very generous size of the new Pepstart 2-in-1 exfoliating cleanser and then a little mini deluxe sample of the new Pepstart Hydro Blur Moisturizer. I touched this in the store once and it felt really nice, but I didn't actually get a sample of it. So I'm really interested in trying those. And then a little foil packet of the eye cream and then two of these, which are so weird. Pepstart Quick Cleansing Swipes. So it's the kind of thing where it says push and you push it and all the liquid floods into the little wipe and then it like grows. <laughs> you see them in restaurants sometimes. Never used one before but very cool that is it from sephora so the next up is all from the drugstore i went to walmart i had a whole bunch of stuff i needed to get um starting with shampoo i got the l'oreal volume collagen root lifting shampoo for flat hair this one i really really like it definitely definitely helps me with volume i have made a hair appointment if you guys are sick of seeing my ridiculously basic hair every video i'm going to get it done in a couple days um, but all this flatness, it actually, that shampoo does help it out. I really needed body lotion, so I got this one. This is body butter from N Spa. It's called Smooth Sweet Pods of Vanilla Body Butter. This stuff is really, really nice. Look, it's super thick, like look at that. Um, it smells like vanilla, but it also kind of has a coconutty smell. So, love that. Well, I don't know if I love it yet, but I love the smell of it. Um, these are so adorable. These are really more for my son, but I have a feeling I might use them myself too. Um, these are from Fun Care. Yep, Fun Care, Finding Dory, and they are gentle body washes. Blueberry scented and tangerine scented. How cute is that? So we have Dory and Nemo, and my son's favorite, well, favorite Disney movie, but he's carried around a Nemo plush toy since he was three years old. And so anyway, absolute favorites in our household. And I thought those were so adorable. So I want to show you. I also picked these up. These are new holiday sets at Walmart. So this is Coca-Cola and this one is Skittles. And they are the Lip Smackers. This one I bought for myself because I absolutely love these flavors. So we have uh, Coke Vanilla, Sprite, regular Coke, and Coke Cherry, which, and the tin is so cute. This was $4.99. I think these are such cute little gifts. Like, you know, sometimes you buy somebody a sweater and you just want to throw in one extra little gift. Something like this would be so cute. Um, and then I bought this one for you guys for a giveaway. I just thought this one was so cute too. Like the Skittles, and it's also got four in there. Um, strawberry, green apple, mango tango, and berry punch. I was in Rexall, which is a Canadian drugstore, and most of you know I'm Canadian. Um, they actually had a display of Milani. Now, Milani is not super easy to find in Canada. There's a few places you can find it. Um, I actually have a link in my description bar all the time that tells you about it, but they actually had like one display, and it was very picked over by the time I got to it, but I got two things. So the Conceal and Perfect Foundation, which I was so excited to see this, you guys. Like, there was no way I wasn't leaving the store without this. And even though I'm not entirely sure this is the right shade for me, this is sh shade three, light beige. I think maybe shade two might have been a little bit better, but I'm gonna try it. And I really am excited about it. Um, I don't know if I'll try it in a first impressions or a full review. You guys know whenever I do a haul, there's usually a few videos that come afterwards with the videos like pertaining to this stuff, so we'll see. And I also picked up one more lipstick there, another Vampy Fall shade. This is from the Matte Lipsticks and it's in the shade Love, number 73. You guys, these smell like vanilla now. I don't know if the matte ones always did. I know the regular color statement lipsticks, they smell like watermelon, but this one smells like vanilla, which is very nice. I know a lot of people didn't like the watermelon scent, but that shade is very pretty. I think this is more along the lines of something that will look better on me as opposed to that Urban Decay one. So we'll see about that. 
And then I picked up a NYX lipstick. This is because of Casey Holmes. She was wearing this in a video and it looked so cool on her. This is um, the NYX matte lipstick in the shade Mason and it's like a brown, but it has kind of a gray undertone. Um, super cool. I wore this yesterday and I kind of liked it. I went to Shoppers Drug Mart, another Canadian drugstore. If you couldn't tell by the name, Drug Mart. Um, I had to get wipes. So I got the Burt's Bees ones. These are cucumber and sage. There's 30 in here and they were like $6.99 or something. Um, they're very big towels, but they really smell like sage. I thought the more dominant scent might be cucumber, but turns out it's sage. So if you don't like sage, you won't like these. I mean, I'm kind of in the middle. I bought one of these nail polishes from L'Oreal. I don't know what this line is called, but I think it's like their permanent nail polish line. Um, and this is in the shade 670 Cobalt Indecent. I thought this was such a cool shade for fall. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, I'm gonna put this one on next because this is super cool for fall. This blush, I just don't think this was a good choice um, because it's super light. I might have to give this to a more fair-skinned family member. But this is from Joe Fresh. I do love their blushes a lot. They are fairly pigmented and they last all day long. Um, but this is in the shade Cedar Rose. It's almost more like a bronzer shade or just it's just like a really nude blush shade and it's super soft. But yeah, it's so light. Now my hands get very tanned from the summer and they don't fade for a while, but I don't know if you can even barely see that. So I don't know, we'll have to see through the winter if I get light enough to wear that properly. I also bought a lip lingerie from NYX. I have one other one of these. To be honest with you, I don't really understand this line from them. I feel like every shade is exactly the same except for this one. Like everything else is so nude, so cool toned, like almost like gray, nude, grayish beige nudes. And they're all pretty much exactly the same. I don't really understand it. But anyway, this is the only other one that I was interested in. And I actually really love this shade. It's called Exotic. And it's like a ready... No, not ready, but like a brownie pink. You know what I mean? Definitely has a lot of brown to it. I think that will be a really nice shade for fall. And one more lipstick. I think this is the very last lipstick that I am hauling. Um, I got one of the Katy Cat mattes, the Katy, Ka Katy Perry Cover Girl collaboration. This is in the shade Cat Call. The shades are on the bottom of the tube, but I don't really feel like this one matches. I swatched it yesterday. It's not exactly what I was expecting. I didn't swatch it in the store because there wasn't an open one. I will swatch in a drugstore if one has already been messed with. Do you know what I mean? But I won't mess with something if it hasn't been messed with already because I think that's not very nice. Um, but anyway, this is far brighter than I thought it was going to be based on the bottle or the tube. So this is almost more of a good summer shade. Do you know what I mean? I don't really see myself wearing this a lot until the springtime, which is kind of a bummer. I thought it was gonna be like way more mauvey pink. Can you see the difference? Ah, c'est la vie. Okay, I bought two flosses. I already busted into one. The Oral-B Complete Satin Floss. This is the one I use all the time. I floss all the freaking time um, because I have gaps in my teeth. It's a long story, but anyway. So I need to floss every single day. And this one is really good because it does not fray. There, there's something about fraying tooth floss that is so annoying. So anyway, that one doesn't fray. It's one I use all the time and it's like not super expensive, especially if it's on sale. I had to replace my Physician's Formula Eye Booster Eyeliner. I've actually been using this one for like three weeks now and I really love this. I've grown to love this even more than I did in the beginning. I think this is just as good as the um, Kat Von D one. And you guys know I love the Kat Von D one. I feel like the Kat Von D is really weird because whenever I get one of the little samples of it, it's super pigmented. It lasts the longest time and um, it just like, it slides, it glides really nicely. Whenever I buy a full size of that, it doesn't last as long, it's not as black and you constantly have to shake it before you put it on. It's really, really weird. I feel like they should just stick to the small size and sell those because the big ones are something that doesn't quite work 
in my opinion. But this, I think, is a fantastic dupe. It's also a brush tip. The brush tip on this is exactly the same as the Kat Von D. Um, and this one is just as black as the Kat Von D. Now, I don't think the Kat Von D one is the blackest eyeliner you're ever going to find. So nor is this one the blackest you'll ever find. But it's still really good. So I definitely recommend this one. If you've never tried it, wait for Physician's Formula to go on sale. Pick it up. You guys know, I always say, wait for Physician's Formula to go on sale because it always does. And it's one of the most expensive drugstore brands. So don't ever pay full price for it. It will always go on sale eventually. I went to The Bay, which also has MAC. The Bay here in Canada is exactly the same as Nordstrom. Not exactly the same, but it's like a high-end department store. They have all the beauty brands. They have all the high-end designers, etc. Now at The Bay, for years, they've been doing this thing with mittens. Um, they're the Olympic mittens. It started, I think, when we hosted the Vancouver Olympics. Do you remember Oprah gave these mittens out to her whole like audience and everybody went crazy for them around the world? Anyway, um, I always buy them every year. They're only $15 and like $4 of that goes to supporting Canadian athletes, which I think is awesome. And they are very well made, super quality, super warm. They're like fully lined in fleece. As you can see, they're very beautiful. They're, there's nothing like falling apart or ragged about these. They're excellent quality. I just love these. Like I said, buy them every single year. So this is this year's. So I picked those up and then I stopped by the MAC counter and I had to pick up a replacement of Fix Plus. You guys know how I feel about Fix Plus. It's one of my favorite products ever. So there it is. I've actually been using this for about a week now. Um, yeah, anyway, this is fantastic for getting rid of the powderiness on your face, for setting your makeup, especially if you're dry skinned. But even if you're oily skinned, it's really good if you like need to blot and repowder throughout the day, but then you don't want like that powdery look. Just spritz this after you blot and repowder. It melts all your makeup back together, looks beautiful. And of course, Fix Plus is also great for like when you need to wet your brush and stuff like that. Blah, bitty, blah, bitty, blah. Why can't I talk all of a sudden? And I also picked up a foundation from Clarins. This is the Extra Firming Foundation. And I was just like, yeah, sign me up. Extra Firming Foundation. That sounds amazing. And I've never tried any makeups any makeups any makeup from Clarins before I've tried a few skincare samples here and there anyway this is yeah like I said extra firming foundation that's what the package looks like it's absolutely beautiful packaging with the frosted glass the gold top it's got a pump on it very nice I think I will do like a full all-day wear test with this um, I think hopefully you guys will be interested. This is in the shade Nude 105. I think that should be a pretty good shade match for me. And yeah, that was it from the Bay. I went to my local Winners, which is TJ Maxx, and uh, their cosmetics department is not the greatest. It's more miss than hit. Um, there's another one near me that's a little bit more hit than miss, but still not that great. But I always end up finding a few things that I need there. So first of all, I picked up the Batiste Dry Shampoo. I think this is the one I prefer, the original scent, the original in general. Um, this is just the best place to buy this is at a TJ Maxx winner's type store because it's always a couple bucks cheaper than at the drugstore, like always without fail. Um, I got two more of these. I'm sure you guys are sick of hearing me talk about this already, but just quickly, my favorite, absolute favorite hand soap, Grace Cole. Um, these scents are just like perfume. They're so beautiful. This is Orchid Amber and Incense. Anything that has amber in it is like a favorite to me. And then this one is Vanilla Blush and Peony. Very beautiful scents on those. So if you see those, you'll love them if you buy them. I got two more wipes because I really was in need of wipes. And again, best place to buy them because normally in like a drugstore, you're going to get probably around 25 for the same price as this. And you always get like 60 in these type of packages. So this one is from cherry tree not cherry tree but c-h-r-e -E. and there's 60 of them they are strawberry infused i've been using one to take off swatches today and it does kind of smell like strawberries and then this one like super cute packaging right you got the strawberries on this and then this has like the really cool kind of i don't know aztec anyway these are from spa studio and they are calming coconut and again there's 60 in there so i figured those would be really good that was it from there. So very last thing. Can you believe we're at the end? 
This is Bath and Body Works. The whole reason I went is because I love Marshmallow Fireside. And I was an idiot again this year, and I only bought two, and I figured, oh, you can go back and get more. Guess what? They're all gone again. I don't know what to do about it. Um, I don't know if the US Bath and Body Works website ships to Canada. I still need to look into that. If they do, if there's a sale, I'm definitely gonna order like 10 of them, but full price is kind of expensive. Um, so we'll see, but these ones they had in store were $13.50 each, and then I had like a $10 off 30 coupon, which is such a great deal whenever they give you those types of coupons. So I picked up some other scents, and I do like all of these, but I really want the marshmallow fire side. I'm very sad about it. Okay, vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. It is exactly what it says it is. You can smell a little bit of the pumpkin. You can smell a little bit of vanilla and marshmallow. I like this one because I feel like the scent is evenly distributed through all three. Like not one of those scents is too overwhelming in there. So love that. This one is a favorite of mine as well. Sparkling Amber. Like I said, I just love Amber. I don't really know how to describe the scent of Amber. It's just a very like heady, musky scent. It's in, whenever you smell like a very sweet, overwhelming perfume, it probably has Amber in it. Um, and then this one, I was not expecting to like this, but when I smelled it, I was like really impressed. So this is Peppermint Marshmallow. Now, I don't normally like peppermint scents, but the peppermint in this is just very mellow and very subtle. And it's mostly that vanilla-y, marshmallow-y scent, but a hint of mint. And I think it's gonna be very lovely. I also just really needed body wash. So these ones here are the minis and they're like three for 12. Whereas if you buy the big ones, they always have those deals, buy three, get two free or whatever they do. But to me, that's like, it's $12 for one, so once you add them up, it's super expensive. And not only that, but mostly for me, it's the fact that after more than about this much, I'll get sick of the scent and I won't want to use it anyway. So it's better for me to stick to these smaller ones. So I got two of the Warm Vanilla Sugar Shower Gels and then one of the Warm Vanilla Sugar um, Ultra Shea Body Cream. I really needed body wash and body cream. I had none left in my whole house. So I picked up a few at these different stores. So very happy with all of those. These purchases were not all for one trip. Could you imagine carrying that many bags home? No, this was like over the course of the last five weeks or so. So if you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to do that because like I said, there's a lot of giveaway stuff here that's coming up. I have a lot of reviews on stuff coming up. So that way you can be notified of any videos from me. And don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you have any questions about any of this, just leave it for me in the comments. You know I will definitely get back to you. And that's it for today, I guess. As if that wasn't enough to talk about. So um, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in my next video. Love you, bye.